What up, I'm Spanky Valentine, and I have no idea what is going on here. time and you guys have been requesting that I do this so I whipped up a bunch of totally cute really easy to do DIY gift ideas for you like these take me like five minutes a piece and they are super cheap like like stupid cheap no offense. This is your last chance to enter my $20 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel and leave me a comment and let me know what kind of video would you like to see me do next. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to enable notifications from this channel. You guys know from my video last week that the YouTube algorithm and the changes like obliterated my last few videos. The same thing that hit PewDiePie has been hitting my channel lately, so we gotta fight back. All right, let's get right to the tutorials. It's voiceover time. We're going to make some Instagram inspired photo tiles. These are so easy. So I grabbed these tiles from Home Depot for literally 16 cents each. And I grabbed some Mod Podge or your favorite sealer glue. And then I just printed out a few images from Instagram, grabbed the bladed squeezy things, AKA scissors and cut them out. These are perfect squares from Instagram. So it works great for these tiles. Now I am coating a thin layer of Mod Podge glue over the tile and then I am placing the paper image right on top there. A little throwback to that Halloween moment. And then I am sealing the image with another layer of that Mod Podge. This is going to make it water resistant so that you can put drinks and stuff on top of it. Now I grabbed these decorative papers from Michaels if you wanted to go this route to make it a little more custom design. Just cutting those out. I think these were about a dollar each. Did I already say that? I don't know. Now another layer of Mod Podge sticked down the decorative paper and then seal it up with the Mod Podge and it will dry clear so don't worry about that. Just give it sufficient time to dry and then I grabbed these little foam inserts from the dollar store that I am sticking on the bottom. You could also glue some felt if you wanted to. This is just going to protect your table surfaces when you put your coasters or your trivets down. Boom! Check it out! Little coaster tiles! I like it. I like it a lot. And I tied it with a pretty bow. Yes, there's something else with a pretty bow. This is a makeup filled shadow box. So I got this shadow box from the dollar store, the 99 cent only store, which they charged me $2 for this. So I feel like somebody should report this atrocity. I'm basically ripping the backing off so that I could fill it with my own stuff. I got some more of this glitter decorative paper and I'm tracing the shape out with that backing that came with the frame. And now I am going to fill this shadow box. Now you could put anything in here. You could put candy in here. You could put makeup like I'm doing. You could put, I don't know, Christmas ornaments or anything that the gift recipient would like. I just thought makeup would be fun, so I put it with a bunch of lippies. Now I'm placing the backing back on, and boom! Like, this was done in, like, five minutes, and only cost the two dollars. Thanks a lot, dollar store. All right, let's make a macaron necklace with some bottle caps. How cute are these? All you need are two bottle caps, some paint color of your choosing, and I'm going to paint two full coats onto these little bottle caps here and completely ruin my already ruined manicure. That's okay. Then I got some chain. You can use a necklace chain that you may have laying around the house or get some new chain. I got this from Michaels and I put it on a jump ring. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue in the center of one of the bottle caps and press the end of my chain there and then just glue around to make sure it's really stuck in that bottle cap. And then I'm gonna put some of that hot glue around the edges of the bottle caps and squeeze those two together to form our cookie. And now I'm gonna make really big glob drops of hot glue on the edges where the icing would be like squeezing out from the cookie and then I'm shaking some glitter in a similar color to what we painted our little bottle caps to create that macaron cookie look dust off some of that excess glitter and how cute is this you can make this a keychain or a, something that hangs off your purse or around your neck now let's make a nail polish fun little thing I think this item 
took like two minutes to make. I just got a nice tall vase again from the dollar store. I'm filling it with all kinds of things for nails. I've got some uh, polish remover and some cotton balls. I've also got some emery boards and I'm filling it with a bunch of nail polish. You could design it however you want to. Use what other whatever kind of colors your recipient would like. Tie it up with a bow and you're done. Like that easy but like really custom and cute and festive now i'm going to make a candy stuffed snowman because we gotta have a little candy here so i grabbed some marshmallows and some fish bowls again from the dollar store now you can fill these fish bowls with whatever you want i decided to do candy but you could fill it with like little keepsakes or jewelry or whatever you want to put in there you, you, you guys hear what i'm saying you hear what i'm saying i put some licorice in there to give it a festive look and i grabbed some candy canes for the head, the top of the uh, snowman, and of course some more marshmallows in there for the color and to make them look very snowy. I also found this dollar headband of a top hat, so why not? We're going to stack these on top of each other and then place the little top hat, and look, we got a little snowman. He's filled with candy. It's so cute. This would be like really cute for like a hot chocolate bar. All right, let's make a snow globe. I decided to make a nail polish snow globe. I don't know why, but I thought it would be cool. So I've got some polish, got some adhesive that is water resistant and a mason jar. I'm going to put that water tolerant glue on the bottom of my nail polish and I'm gluing that to the inside of the mason jar lid. You wanna make sure that that cures before you expose it to water. And then you could just fill your mason jar with whatever kind of decorative things you want. I got some jewels. I'm also going to put a bunch of different color glitters inside of there and make sure your jar is filled up to the top with some water. Add a few more little crystal things and when you shake it up, it's just so pretty. It just makes me so happy. And then all you do is dip inside your nail polish lid or whatever you glued to the lid, shake it around and you got an instant snow globe with like a polish, cause why not, right? Simply Nailogical, I am coming for you. Someone tag her. All right, for this one, I'm doing a custom little candle design. I just got this candle from the dollar store. Again, I'm keeping it cheap for y'all. And I'm just um, putting some rubber bands on it in different patterns. I'm crisscrossing them. You could do whatever kind of pattern that you want. And then I got some red acrylic paint because I wanted this to look like a candy cane. And I am stamping the paint all over the candle. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some red glitter on it before the paint has a chance to dry so that the glitter is glued onto it. Once this is totally dry you're gonna remove the rubber bands now this paint actually kind of made little peely crevices so I kind of had to buff it down and flatten it out but you know it's cute it's cute it makes that dollar candle look a lot more expensive I hope you enjoyed this make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did subscribe to my channel if you're not already and share this video with a friend don't forget to enter my Amazon giveaway and I will see you in the next video I love you so much bye